what's up guys Faisal here so the apple iphone 14 is coming with a much wanted feature that's been missing for a long time and i will be sharing the details right after this so today we have got plenty more to share about the iphone 14 including a feature that we have all been waiting for before we get started so as a video if you are a fan of apple let me know in the comments who out there is waiting for the iphone 14 if you have not already then it so you don't miss a thing in the future so for the first hour of the day we have got the news that what is still waiting for approval from apple to manufacture the iphone 14 oled panels apple has halted both supply of the iphone 13 after it was discovered that changes were made to the panel without even informing Apple of the changes. According to the island, the change was made to increase the yield rate on the panels which of course increases profit for both. But it looks like it may have been a costly move for the company. Vivo only accounted for 10 of the iPhone displays in 2021. They were set to overtake LG for the future iPhones and it's looking more and more likely this may no longer be the case. Now next up we have got a report from it news and they say that Apple is going to be switching suppliers for the front facing camera and deliver a much more premium camera. Now according to the post Apple has switched to LG in attack for the front facing camera in preparation for mass production of these cameras has already begun. Now this is going to deliver much improved photography and video from the front camera but according to it news it's also risen the cost by 300% and this could be reflected in the release price of the Apple iPhone 14. According to reliable analyst Ming Chico, we are now going to be getting out of focus on the front facing camera of the iPhone 14. We also get a wider aperture of f1.9. Now next, uh, we have got news of much improved displays on the iPhone 14 and it's going to be using the latest LTPO technology. The 13 was the first of future 120Hz ProMotion display on the Pro models, but this panel could only switch refresh rate between 10Hz and 120Hz. According to reliable display analyst Rose Young, he expecting that the iPhone 14 Pro models will be able to drop as low as 1Hz when viewing a static image or when the device is inactive. Of course, one of the main features that are missing from the iPhone that we see in the rest of the market is the always on display. With this new display able to drop to 1Hz, it means that we will finally see the iPhone 14 deliver and always on display given that it would not be detrimental to the battery life. Now unfortunately this would likely mean that it's only for the pro model but nevertheless it's a feature that been missing from iPhone for a long time and I for one would be very happy to see it. We also have news that the iPhone 14 is now 3 weeks behind its production schedule thanks to the unexpected lockdown. It's been going on for some time now and it's looking very likely that it will affect the initial production volume of the iPhone 14 series. At this point in time, it's unlikely to affect the launch date but it could make it a lot harder to get hold of an iPhone 14 on release day. iDrop News previously told us the launch date was going to be the 23 of September while that is still Relatively far away, it's very challenging for supplies to make up for this close time considering the huge amount of units required. But overall, the iPhone 14 is looking incredible and it's got many improvements that I wanted to see including the new design for the display. Now while the iPhone 14 Max is also looking like a great new addition to the series, I am still curious as to how the standard iPhone 14 is gonna fit in. It's pretty much the same as its predecessor, it looks the same and apparently it's also getting the same chipset so I cannot see how Apple is gonna market this for new sales. For those of you excited for the Apple iPhone 14 though we are now going to run through the full specs design and expected pricing for each model in the range. That's it for now for more updates please subscribe to our channel technology in the future. You will take care of yourself, we will meet in the next video, bye bye.